Hey friends! Alright, so today uh, I've had a few different ideas and I was going back and forth. I had an idea for 4th of July, an idea for just spring. I think right now what I'm going to go for is just spring so that, um, you know, because 4th of July is coming up, but it, it's summertime. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the spring stuff for now. I have this tree. It's technically a Christmas tree. It's a pencil tree. I keep it up all year round because it's basically a holiday tree. Um, and then when there's no holidays, I just have like things that I've made that are sort of farmhouse style and basically just fit the theme of my house year round. So what I do every year is I try to make little things here and there that can go on there and, you know, would look cute. And right now I'm, I'm looking to do some spring stuff. So I have some bee stuff and I have flowers. So, you know, I'm thinking I'm just going to do a couple of, you know, spring themed things here. I've got to decide. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do like two bee ones. I'm going to use like different parts of it, so the bee and then like with flowers. So I'm going to have to sort of maneuver that. But I've got yellow, but underneath I need to do white because of this. Alright, so you take the backing. There's Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two ply. Whatever it is, take all the plies off the back. So, let's see here. I'm going to see through it. So I don't know, I can do it like this where I can get both the bee and these flowers on. I'll do two of these, you know, in two different ways. So this one I might have to pull apart. I mean, I could do it this way. It's the opposite of this one, but this one has the flowers and this one has mainly just the greenery. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's got some flowers up here, so maybe I could do it like that. That would be pretty. So anyway, that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to go ahead and do some other ones with the actual flowers. I also have these little bees that, they're, they're teeny guys, they look really cute on projects like this. Alright, so first things first, we need to paint this white. And I mean, I guess I could use the ivory. It's really not too big of a difference, I don't think. getting the sides too. And I will do the back eventually, but I'm going to do that last because I'm going to just have to set this down to dry. And I'll do this one. The other ones, um, I'm not exactly sure what background I want to put. I don't know if I want to put a green background or if I want to do the ivory and then um, flowers would be the you know main color. I mean, I guess I could do that. But let's just do these first before I decide. All right. So some of you might have noticed that I am back on um, Facebook more. And that's because they finally did the right thing and um, no longer says that I am violating content monetization policies. It was ridiculous. I haven't done anything different. <laughs> just, I don't know what that was all about. Okay, so... So then, so that means, you know, I will be on there more and be posting more of my, my crafts and things. Um, but that doesn't mean I'll be stopping YouTube. I definitely won't be stopping YouTube. I, I'll be, still be posting on YouTube. All different types of stuff. All right, so let's, uh, we got to get these dry real quick. I'm going to use my fan. Okay, these are dry. So what I'm going to do now is I have to put some Mod Podge on here. Alright, so one of them I wanted like the bee and the flower. So we can do something like that so that more of the flowers show up. And there's still the bee on there. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I um, I don't care really for using the iron. I have used it, but I, I like the wrinkles. I don't mind them. So um, it doesn't bother me that there's wrinkles on here. I'll actually distress this even more to make those wrinkles show up. 
that's how much that they don't bother me. <laughs> okay, so now you take your sandpaper and just scrape around the edges of your piece of wood and it cuts it pretty cleanly. Just like that. And now you have a pretty tag. Isn't that cute? So just so you guys know, I will be these are for my tree, but I will sell these. So I'm gonna be putting these on Etsy. And that's gonna be a um I'm gonna sell them as a made to order situation. So when an order comes in, I will make the amount of the order. Alright, so we're gonna do the second one. Anybody uh, checking out the eclipse on Monday? We're apparently in, I'm in Maine and we're right in the path. So it should be for us a total eclipse, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this one I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do the um, B at the bottom and bring in some of the greenery and these um, purple flowers. Now I'm not sure, well that's kind of giving me, hold on, I gotta go up a little higher because of the thing. I'm not sure if I will put some words on here at all. I have the space, I mean I could do something in the middle here if I wanted to, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, alright. Okay, just move that out just a little bit. I needed to bring it up so it covered the top of this. But I still wanted to see these flowers. Alright. So, we're going to do the same thing with the sandpaper. I love doing it with the sandpaper. Pretty much all crafters do it. And it's just because it gives it a clean edge. And you're not trying to get scissors around it where... It's not close enough to the edge and all that. It's That can be quite a pain. So this is a great technique. So there's two. Look at how adorable these are. Look at these. Look at how cute that is. Those are going to look so pretty on my tree. I think that these are absolutely adorable. And they could honestly just stay the way that they are. But I am going to go ahead and grab my awesome little stamps here, these ones that click together and make a mess. And I'm going to probably get the word like B out and, all right, where is it? Right here. And just put B on here or something. Something cute. Flowers maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'd like to do something just to kind of give it a little bit more um, definition. A little bit of style. So here's a B. So these ones are all lowercase. And I did that on purpose. I like lowercase letters. I like the words to be in lowercase. Alright. B E E. Okay, so that, I think we'll put that one like here. So I think it would fit better here. I don't know, should we put it up here? I don't know, B, I could put like B kind on here. There's enough space for that. So remember, these ones, like I said, I'm just doing on these what I would do for, for my own tree that I have. Um, so yeah, dried quick. Um, these are the ones that, these ones will be on my tree, but again, I will be making these for sale. So if you are interested, you can buy them. Um, and they'll say basically, they'll say the same thing. So I, what, what you see here is what you can buy. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go with this one. We're going to say be kind. I'm trying to decide which, which way would look better. I guess either way would look fine. Let's do it this way. I'm, I'm, I usually do it the other way. I'm, I'm like a very symmetrical person. <laughs> so let's, let's have a little fun with it, I guess. So that's going to go there. 
I'll also uh, offer these with no words. So if you don't want anything on it, you don't. You can just leave it blank, and I'll just I'll just make them like this. Okay. So excuse my head for a minute, so we can look. Be kind. See? That's cute. Alright, so you see? Be kind. Alright, and this one... Would, I'll just put B on here. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of trying to think of where to... Eh, right there, we're going for it. There we go, B. So, I mean, I like them with the words, I like them without the words, I like them all different ways. And honestly, I feel like I'm going to make all of these with the bees. I don't know. I mean, I do have all these flowers out here, but I, I really like these. I think they're so pretty. See, this is, this is me. <laughs> I had a plan going into this, and so I'm just going to paint these real quick. I'm going to paint all four of them, actually, just to get that out of the way. All right. So we're going to paint all of these, this ivory color, in the um, chalk paint, Waverly chalk paint. Anybody else have a holiday tree or a year-round tree? <laughs> I love it. It's my little pencil tree. Okay, so that takes care of these. They just have to dry. All right. They're all done. So I just got them, I placed them the bee in different areas of all of them. So now I'm just going ahead and taking off the excess out of, off of all of these. Very cute. I think I will offer too, it can, I can offer you that they are distressed or, um, let me do this one's drier, or I can leave them like this where they're not distressed can be your choice it's just like I do the bows they can I offer them distressed or not cute look at how cute these are I love them I'm gonna poke these holes out all right I'm gonna go ahead and distress these ones these are like I said staying here so I want mine distressed so I'm going to use, let's see, so these are ones I would not use the spray on because the spray would just overwhelm it. I, won't, I don't have any control over it. Let me uh, see if I can use a napkin. Yes, I'm still using this one because there's plenty of stuff left in it. So I'm just going over this lightly with the brown. I will go to the edges again with some black, but you can see, see the, can you see the wrinkles? Can you see the highlighted, the, how they're highlighted on the tops of the wrinkles? That's what I like. So then I'll show you real quick with the black before I do the rest. That. And going over the edges, giving it more definition. And I will probably go over these wrinkles as well with the black, just to highlight them. I'm not trying to get black all over the place, I'm just trying to go over the wrinkles. There you go. That is distressed. That will look perfect on my tree. So you guys will have the option of distressed or regular. I'll leave it, if you, if you want it, this lighter white color and with with no distress on it. This would be cute, more of a cottagey look. Um, this is just, you know, more of a prim look, primitive. So, but like I said, all of these are gonna get distressed because that's the style I have. All right, I'm gonna get all the rest of these done. I gotta mod podge them and everything. And then I'll get right back to you. All right, so I'm gonna do one more word and I'm gonna do beehive. And I think I'm gonna do that right here. So I've got to do B first because I need the E for that. All right. So I've got three with a word or words and one without, or three with words, three without. So we're going to go with B.
All right, so we've got bee kind, bee, and bee hive, and then I've got three with nothing. So now what I'm going to do is Mod Podge all of these and seal them, put the little hangers on, and that'll be it. It'll be done. This will seal all the stuff in, all the distress, all the words, everything will be sealed in. All right, so that's it, guys. These are cute little, just little sweet tags. Um, I am going to be doing other versions of this, so I do have this napkin. I'd love to do these trucks and the barns and that kind of thing. So I am going to go ahead and uh, I'll do another video on these, but for now, you get, you get the idea. So, all right, that is it, guys. I hope you like these. They're cute little things. I've got three with words, three without words. And I'm going to hang these on my tree. But again, these will be um, available in my Etsy shop for sale. You guys can get them there. As, when you see this video, they will be available. So, um, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Helps me, guys. It helps me with everything so that I can uh, keep making these videos. So, again, if you haven't followed me on um, Facebook, go ahead and do that. I am back up on there. I know that I, I stopped for a, a while and that was simply because it was for nothing. Um, but now it, it has changed. They have fixed the problem finally. And so now I am back on. So if you're not on Facebook or you're not following me there, it's Country View Homestead. And uh, I would appreciate it if you did. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel here on YouTube, I would appreciate that too. Alright guys, you have a fantastic night and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.